What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Seth, and we are back again for another Trove. Trove to Trove. Do, 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 do. Ah. <laughs> Today, we are going to do one of the most boring things in this game Shadow Arena. Get out of the way. Hello, Zap Flame, Taz, Taz, Macho Clams, Joshua Metis. And we also have Infelicita and a bunch of other people in this beautifulness. I'm not going to be worrying too much about the shout out today. Crimson Wyvern! But at the same time, if I see somebody's name, I am gonna go for it. This is the U6 Shadow Arena. This is the end game. This is it. And we are so powerful that we can handle it just fine. We also have a very killer crew. Ooh, still never got to see my club world under construction? I'll check it out later, buddy. I may not be in today's episode, but I would still appreciate it if you would smack that like button. So, this is the end game. And you can kind of see, well, I guess you can't really see why, but th this is Shadow Arenas. For those that are new to the game, you have to go and find these random portals out in the wilderness. And then you have to use a shadow key. The way that you get shadow keys wise, guys, you have to craft them out of shadow key fragments and gems. You get those from completing just normal dungeon quests, whether it's a three star or a one star gives you different fragments or gems. And anyway, once you end up getting into the shadow arena, you can kick all sorts of butt. It is pretty much just wave after wave after wave of enemy over and over and over again, unless we get lucky enough that we actually spawn a shadow dungeon, and that is like a full dungeon which still has waves of enemies, but it's like, it's more than just monotonously all in the same room. Join me, Toxic Slayer. There you go, buddy. And Rez Jor, Skelephant, is also there as well. I'm just naming the names as I catch them. But anyway, we're gonna do a couple of Usage Shadow Arena episodes. Well, not episodes. We're gonna do a couple of arenas today. I am right now, Golden Mango. I am right now. He's asking if I'm recording. But we're, we're gonna be doing this for today. So it's gonna be a little bit monotonous. There is a reason that I don't really record Shadow Arenas very much because although running dungeons one after another is also kind of very much just the same thing, you're pretty much just repeating the same thing over and over again, it's a lot more stimulating, especially for me, that we get to go, 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 run, 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 and go as fast as possible. Yes, later times in club. So somebody's asking about streaming and stuff like that. We stream every Friday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Other times are also there as well. Now, for right now, in U6, you get so many shards. So when you complete... Oh, thank goodness. Finally, I get to use all my keys up. Uh, and finally, I get to use my keys. Finally, get somewhere that's worthy of it. And uh, everyone else is already using all their keys. You should do a setup tour. A setup tour? So we can see your setup, Macho Clads? I guess he means my recording setup, because I have been getting lots of people requesting and asking, like, what's your recording setup and stuff? Now, this is a Shadow Dungeon, so all these enemies right here, it's actually very good if we are not maxed out. Uh, but all these enemies actually drop experience. If you're killing enemies out of a wave machine, and this applies for shadow arenas and inside dungeons themselves, wave machines don't give any experience because it's just waves of enemies and I guess it would be exploitable in some way, shape, or form. Join me, Dark Knight Hunter. Join me, Toxic Slayer. They are not powerful enough to get to this next arena, so they keep asking me to invite them. Anyway, right now, you, you end up getting shards once you end up completing a full round. And the shards, as you saw there, are spent inside Shadow Arenas. For those that don't know, because we got a lot of people, new people coming to the series and stuff. So I keep uh, trying to get in the habit of re-explaining things that we're all used to. You know, because we've been at this for a very, very long time. But anyway, you end up spending those shards on caches. And these are the Shadow Caches. Hopefully we can end up getting ourselves... Well, we got 50 eyes. That's very good if you're trying to forge stuff which we don't technically need to. Oh, goodness. I love how escape doesn't, like, close it or anything like that. Mus Yeti and Zap Flame and Snake Shot's on as well. But anyway, hopefully, in today's episode, we'll get lucky enough. Ooh, I love those new doors. Aren't they beautiful? So, hopefully, we'll get lucky enough that we can get ourselves a Shadow Heart. Totally not a Muffin. Have you heard the Insanity giveaway keys? Yeah, there There's eight keys left. Did they bring them back? <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure that out. I don't know what he's talking about. 
Because as far as I knew, they didn't have them. Uh, but anyway, maybe they just keep bringing them back. I don't know. But anyway, hopefully we can get ourselves a shadow key. Today's episode is probably not going to be as long as our usual episodes, though. Though that's for sure, because I myself personally, like, already I'm kind of like... Like, this is very, very grindy, and it's not very fun at all. But you end up getting some good prizes out of it, because if you can get those shadow hearts, you can spend them on the stuff in the shop, as you saw previously in a little a little while ago. And that stuff is very good for mastery. That's pretty much all it's good for. There are a couple really cool mounts, though, that you can get from them. Like the Insanity Steed is one of them, which... Hopefully by the time this video is out, that's not completely irrelevant, because I think they ran out. I don't know. I mean, I have to check. Maybe I'll have to, like, do something about that. I don't know. But anyway, get out of here. This enemy doesn't want to die because he's one of the n annoying enemies that gets knocked around a lot and hangs out in all the corners and junk. It's like, ugh, get out of my face. You can also very, very rarely, out of the shadow chest only as far as I know, not that middle ground one, because shadow dungeons end up having two wave machines. There's the main one that was back there, and then there's this one which actually has like big old Donkey Kong, who's gonna get his butt kicked. Um, you can get shadow wings. You can also get shadow wings out of a shadow cache itself, but good luck, man. Like so some people get them right away, I do not. Now I'm trying to, but we don't seem to have, have aggro, is it's a very good idea to lure this idiot over to the wall because otherwise he just knocks everybody back and causing damage to him gets really really tricky and annoying and stuff like that because i mean look at him man like he's he's being knocked all over the place plus i know also i didn't even catch that until right now but yes we are on our draconis again i know that i said we would go back on the tomb razor we will right away but for the shadow arena u6 especially i want to use our draconis because he is like He's 10 times stronger anyway, and it's like we can just sit here and tank and just hang out and stuff like that. Although it would have been really, really cool to try out, because I've never tried him, the Tomb Razor in a Shadow Arena that is very, very powerful. So, I don't know. My goodness, look at this guy. Look at his health. And, oh, he's a teleporter. That's why he can't stay in a corner for too long. How annoying. <laughs> anyway, we got him to half health, so after this round, we're probably going to call this episode just because, personally, like, I, I can't stand Shadow Arenas. I know lots of other people are very into grinding them out and stuff like that, but I just, I just can't. I don't have the time to do this. Uh, plus, I just, I don't know, there's something about it that just doesn't really appeal to me, you know? Like, I, I prefer going crazy and going on an adventure and stuff like that, and just, it's, it's very, like very me very like we can look in all directions and blah, 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 yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore see I'm rambling because I don't really like there's not that much to commentate about when you're in a shadow arena yeah yeah anyways Donkey Kong you're going down destroy him yes I'm going to oh my goodness I am getting spammed in my chat I can't reply guys PJ play PG play and Grow Hunter's on as well. Oh my goodness, we're getting low on health because he keeps hitting us. And I'm not switching to Dragon Mode so that we can regen and get our lifesteal on. McKay, oh look, he's almost dead. Come on, it's so boring. Die. That was me stomping on the floor. I'm barefoot, so it sounds like clapping. <laughs> Die. Get out of here. There you go. Give us something worth it. Come on. Give us, like, shadow wings, just because why not have that on camera or something. Anything. Garbage, garbage. Shadow level one, that's garbage. Well, I'll put that in the club in the club chest or something like that. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Anyway, here's the, here's the shop bay, just so you all know. And you get all these beautiful things. So right now, I have two hearts of darkness. Probably going to have zero by the time this video is out. All of this is so expensive, I don't have half of the stuff in the Shadow Arena because I don't grind it very often. I'm half considering getting this just so I can get my rune crafting mount, but that's okay. Oh, some guy's taking off. Otherwise, I could probably, oh, it's all two, three, two, two. My goodness, it's so expensive. It's all so expensive, give me a heart. Nope, and it's so rare to get a heart too, that's why we never end up bothering with it. But anyway, um, turns out that this episode ended at the perfect length anyway. But we're gonna call it here for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. So don't forget to smack that like button, share favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel Sino. And stay epic, everybody. To be.
or not to be. Not to be! Oh,